I spent how much on what? Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, it's Rebecca. And today I am going to only use very high-end makeup, which is, I understand, a little bit of a detour from my usual drugstore products, but I am not an exclusive drugstore only channel. I am a makeup enthusiast, and uh, if anything, I'm just mostly about pro-aging and sensitive skin, because those things never change. I do have a lot of high-end makeup, luxury makeup. One, I purchased it for whatever reason, or two, I, um, I might have uh, been sent it for PR, or I purchased it to have for uh, research for, you know, dupes. How am I supposed to know if something's a dupe if I've never used the original? So, yeah. Also, I think sometimes folks out there appreciate when I review a very popular product that is not drugstore to just uh, give my opinion and see if, uh, if it works for me and, and my thoughts. So, I also think it's kind of fun to see if product that I actually do love that is not drugstore that I'm using, will I repurchase it? You know, because uh, some things are, are unique and they bring me joy. <laughs> Makeup should bring us joy. Makeup is not utilitarian um, or it doesn't have to be. <laughs> All right, enough of that. I'm starting off with a product that I was gifted, but I actually think I will repurchase. This is from Merit. It's their Glow Serum, or I should say it's called their Great Skin. And it does sell out, so I think it's back in stock. $38 for this product. It is a skincare. It's great for my mature skin, my dry skin, and my sensitive rosacea triggered skin, rosacea prone skin. Um, it doesn't have any actives in here that upset my equilibrium. So I love it. I love mixing it with foundation, mixing it with primer, just or even putting it on top of my sunscreen. Um, it's just a lovely product. It has ferments and different things in here. It's like an oil, but it's like an essence and it's just really nice. So I'm going to put just a little bit in the palm of my hand. I just kind of do that and press it. Uh, let's begin with foundation and this oof, uh, this is the Givenchy. This is the Prism Libra Skin Caring Glow. I have shade I don't even know two like N15. I'll list it. Uh, this is in the $50 range. Um, yeah, I, I'm trying to remember why I might have been I might have purchased some things because an influencer an influencer was using it and it just looked lovely. And I said, you know what? I, I want that. <laughs> I want that for myself. I am going to, um, so I put a couple pumps on the back of my hand. The motivation for me to do this video is to start to, I have to use up more makeup. I cannot just, I'm, I'm tired of throwing away old makeup. It's, it's making me sad. So yeah, um, there is fragrance in here because Often all the high end, you know, the Chanel, the Dior, they have a bit of a, a signature scent. Some brands have a more affordable luxury tag to them. And um, yeah, so like Jouer and I have a discount code. So some, oftentimes the Jouer products I love are around the $20, $30 range. So I really justify spending treating myself to uh, a product that's $20, $30. When something gets into the $40, $60 range, that's when, you know, we kind of go, uh-uh. <laughs> Tire screech, right? And I will show you some of those in just a minute. I am, if it's bothering some of you that I'm kind of just dabbling, I understand. I am trying to keep, I'm, I'm doing a very light stipple. I'm like wisping the brush across my skin to not give a heavy 
application. Um, I'm kind of trying to be in the spirit of this foundation isn't full coverage. It's more of a, you know, medium and you can have it sheared out too if you'd like. And I just feel like when you use a duo fiber, which, you know, a brush that has uh, this kind of different lengths to it, it really just kind of pulls that through. This is the Tom Ford Emotion Proof, Emotionless <laughs> uh, Concealer. You know, it's not supposed to crease, it's supposed to stay put with whether you're sweating or crying or, or anything like that. And um, I remember I liked it and it's lovely. Tom Ford products are lovely. Um, this one, I think, I remember it came out with a mascara as well and I didn't get the mascara. I do like the doe foot on this and it's $40. I feel like Tom Ford makeup. I remember purchasing a couple of the lipsticks. I know people love the bronzer. Um, I, I love the lipsticks. I just never reach for them. It's so strange. I think there's a part of me that doesn't want to use something up if I've spent a lot of money on it. There is that feeling of, will I ever be able to replace this? And you kind of treasure it and yeah, my mom, I totally get that from my mom. She grew up during World War II in Germany. Everything she had was just, it, it, you know, she didn't have much. So <laughs> I have a, a very, very fancy powder that I duped over the summer. This is the Westman Atelier. This is the pink. This is their, this is refillable, I believe, which is amazing. I appreciate that so much. But this is this the pink powder, and it was it's talc free. It's blurring. Everyone applied it as you know that kind of here. I'll do it where they're like, look, oh, it's perfect. Yeah, because you powdered over a wet product, and it's going to look soft and blurred. <clears throat> I'm just gonna take a soft fluffy brush. I am going to uh, just do this and put a little bit of powder just right over the concealer as it almost just stops the concealer. Yeah, stops the concealer. It keeps it from going anywhere. And it's not a lot of product for it to eat up. So you're not just putting a whole bunch of powder on top of a damp product and then it just sort of doesn't know what to do with the rest of that powder after it soaks it in. So it looks softer and more sheared out for my under eye area. I love doing that. <clears throat> now for the rest of my face, I am going to use the Givenchy Prism Libre. And this comes in a variety of the quadrant of shades and I love this powder if it didn't smell. This is also pink so yeah there's a lot of pink in here. This is supposed to be for brightening, blurring, you name it, right? This is just an Amazon little cosmetic puff so <laughs> yeah I'm using $60 powder with a $3 puff but what are you gonna do? So I don't mind doing more of a, it's not, I'm not baking, but to just apply the powder where uh, it's a little more concentrated on the rest of my face. I just don't like doing that under my eye area. It does not look good. <laughs> I think if you're under 25, you can do that. I have this ethereal light, celestial, celestial skin. This is from Kevin Aquan, and you know, um, I actually, sometimes when you find high end, like I found uh, by Terry products at Marshalls, I've, I've found some high end products at uh, TJ Maxx and stuff, you buy them, you know? You're just like, I'm gonna buy that. 
I am. So <laughs> this is gorgeous. And again, I'm going to just kind of stipple it on. It's a beautiful, one of those kind of, you can bronze with it, <laughs> bronze with it. You can put it as a uh, primer. You can put it with other products, uh, foundation. You can use it by itself, like, you know, liquid bronzer. Um, I am not keen, as keen on this as I want it to be. I will definitely, I don't know if they still make this because so many of Kevin Aquan products get, I don't know, I just feel like you see some and then they get phased out. The Kevin Aquan products that you might find on Nordstrom will be different like if you went to like Cult Beauty from the UK. So depending on where you live in the world and where you shop from, you might just find a variety of Kevin Aquan products. This is, this is beautiful. I just feel like, you know, it's okay. It's okay. Now what I have, I remember wanting this so bad. I wanted the Charlotte Tilbury bronzers that were in this giant compact so bad. And I have shade two and I have shade one. And shade two is almost a medium, but I remember people just being so disappointed that shade one was too light. And I actually like shade one. It was supposed to look airbrushed. It was supposed to be just soft and gorgeous and um, refillable. Also, I do like the giant size of it. I am such a sucker for bronzers that come in large pans. The Patrick Ta Blush Duos, these were so hot the summer they came out. And I still love how it's like you put the cream on or I think it was you can put the cream on and then you put the powder on top or you can put the powder on and the cream, you know, it was supposed to be this whole system. And with this cool girl look, which uh, when you live in a cold climate, it's like, are you kidding me? I, why do I need a cool girl look? And I mean cold, cold girl, not cool. Like, oh, you're so cool. No, like cold, like I'm cold. I came inside and my rosaceas flared and my Raynaud's hands are purple. <sighs> Don't people know? Um, yeah, I love this Patrick Ta blush. It was gorgeous. I remember when it came out that summer. Oh, I loved it. I don't know though. I would not, I, I didn't get the bronzers and I haven't gotten the foundations and that's just because I am a little cheap, a little lazy. So we'll see, we'll see. So Hindash is a makeup artist and when he launched this palette, it was quite the buzz and it is phenomenal. It is genius. It is a makeup artist's dream. It's sort of a satin to a matte. It has a variety of tones and hues and it's supposed to be for the entire face. I feel like if you are a makeup aficionado and you love something like this, you should absolutely get it. But if you're kind of like, this is a little intimidating, I'm not sure if I'm using it right or what am I doing, I don't really have the attention span or time to play, um, you know, then maybe just sort of stick with something uh, more straightforward. So I'm gonna take the shade Tan Lines because the taupe is so lovely. Oops, my, my, La lads lids are creasing oh boy yeah I didn't powder them that's what happens I've used this uh, you can do it kind of one and done it can be uh, blush it can be liner it can be brows it can be a lot of things of course it depends on you know your complexion um, so I'm also going to go in the feel real color there's a um, I'll show you right here. It's a little more, it's like a little darker brown. Okay. 
There's this shade right here, Wet Paint. I'm going back and forth with a separate brush and I think I actually will kind of just blend, kind of just go like this, give it a blend. Yeah, everything is just really soft. It's matte, but it's not chalky. It's just lovely. Okay, this eyeliner is from Charlotte Tilbury and it's an eye pencil, it's the Duo. So I purchased this one where it has bronze on this end and kind of a plum on this end. And I am going to be applying both of these. I'm gonna line my lids, or I should say my upper lash line with the, the dark plum. Kiko Milano makes a pencil like this and I love a very soft, easy to blend pencil and sometimes finding one at the drugstore is hard so I can understand if you've found a high-end one that you love it is um, difficult to kind of keep keep buying ones that you're thinking, oh gosh, is this gonna smudge? Is this gonna be easy to put on? I think it's just lovely. Okay, so I do this thing where I blink and then let the pencil <laughs> move along my lid where I blinked. And that's how I know where to flick it up. You guys, I don't know if that's a hack or just a weird technique that I sort of found by accident because I literally was blinking while putting on my eye pencil and then it just went, it just worked. Right, 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 right. Okay, now let's use the copper shade. All right, so I love that. It's so frickin' expensive. You know what that I will say that I love that is not as expensive and I love the company is Cali Ray. This liner is so good. It's 20, I can't remember the exact price. So, so good. So for a high end clean beauty uh, liner, it's beautiful. I mean, this is too, and it does, look at that. I mean, it sets. It sets and forgets. Okay, do you guys remember when I purchased this on my Maui trip with my husband and it's the Shantakai? It's the blur finishing powder. I decided I was in a very fancy shop and I was like, I haven't purchased anything on my trip, so I'm gonna buy this, <laughs> which has nothing to do with Maui, but for some reason I just felt like, nope, this, is, this feels right. So, they come out with these every year or even every couple seasons. This one happened to be the year they had this beautiful, you know, um, flower design on the compact. Shauna Kai loves doing things that are wildlife based. They like to give their proceeds away to some proceeds away to certain charities. And I can't remember what the flower one was, but this product is beautiful. However, I think it's $80 and you know, it's like, golly, it's so gorgeous. It really is, but honestly, I don't think you are going to, I just feel the FOMO is to, like the hype. The hype is way too much. It's just, it's lovely. It really, really is lovely. I think Jouer powder does just as good a job. Um, yeah, I just think there's a lot of powder out there. 
I want to talk about one powder though that is still so unique. Also, it cracks me up because when I look at my analytics for my affiliate, links and what people have clicked on and what people have purchased. This is my most purchased product and it's the YSL 3D Glow. And this product is unavailable right now. I don't know if it's ever coming back. I don't know what YSL is planning. I think this came out in 2020. Mel Thompson, bless her heart. And um, she recommended it and it's gorgeous and she passed away. So I am so glad I bought this because it is beautiful. It is unique. It looks beige, like it's a pale bronzer and it is so unique when you apply it. <clears throat> and I'm just using this wet and wild brush. When you apply it, it gives this Oh gosh, I don't know, can you see it? It gives a pearlescent blur slash highlight that is the most subtle. It warms, it cools, it's, it's gorgeous. It's so pretty, it's so pretty. So I love it, I love it. I'm so happy to have it. And if you bought it and you enjoy it, cherish it because this may be the only this is this is probably the first time in my life well no maybe the second or third time in my makeup life where a product i absolutely love is no longer available to repurchase so i'm just kind of holding on to it very carefully um, so let me know if you've either found something like it or if you know anything about its future so <laughs> love it all right I don't have a high-end mascara. I really don't. I am so addicted to drugstore mascaras lately that I don't even have something high-end. The only um, non-drugstore brow product that I love, and it's not expensive, is my Blink Brow Mousse. And I, I think it's 20 bucks and I have a 20% off code. Um, if it's not 20 bucks, it's very close to it. And I just find this to be so good, so good for um, giving a very wispy, adding, adding product brows to give them more oomph, but also um, making it like a, almost like a brow gel to set. So you can comb through, you can add tint, add girth. Oh my God. You guys remember when I used that word girth in a video? Oh, what was that video? Now I don't remember. Makeup Forever makes a pencil that is basically you can use anywhere. It's their endless cacao. And, um, I have seen so many makeup artists use this for not only lining their lips, but creating shadow and contour around their nose or eye area. You can, yeah. So I am gonna just do a light, light contour of my lip area, just to kind of make it a shadow. Uh-huh. I love a luxury lipstick. I treat myself to a luxury lipstick every now and then, truly. It is just a joy. And I, again, don't use them as often, so I need to get better on that. But um, Merit sent me their lipstick. This is the shade Slip. It is a beautiful brown. I mean, look at that. Look at that. And it is just lovely. So I'm going to put this on first. Ah, <laughs> it feels good. It is so, oh my goodness. If this was 1993 and not 2003, where was this lipstick 30 years ago? It's definitely that like very neutral, almost a cool undertone of um, nude. You know, this is something I would have worn absolutely 
in my early 20s. It's a beautiful formula and it's gorgeous. Awesome. Now let's step it up a notch and I have something a little fancier. <laughs> these are the Lena Chu lippies and I purchased these last year off Beautylish. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Um, I think I shared with them you about them. I think maybe I swatched them for you. I absolutely love them, but I never use them. Uh, they even came with like a mini set. It was definitely a Black Friday or a cyber deal and it is so gorgeous. So I'm going to put the, uh, the one on that I have here, which is the Shakespeare. And then I'm going to do my shadow again. Just a light shadow. And I do have, <laughs> oh my gosh. So I do have a By Terry lip pencil. This, I don't know if they still have this. This is Jungle Coral. Okay, I'm gonna swatch this for you. I don't know, if I've used it maybe once. Ugh. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's almost a mint vanilla, like it's very, <gasps> oh. This formula is matte, but it is satin. Like it's so soft. It feels way better. <laughs> Just gonna say this now. Um, then Tom Ford and Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna say that right now. Hang on. I will not be repurchasing these products. Uh, I just think I have so many out there that are more affordable, no fragrance. Um, so they're beautiful. I just, they're, they're not for me. The Merit, I will absolutely repurchase. Um, I do not think I will be repurchasing Chantakai powder. Um, I love that it is beautiful, but it could be done just as well. The, you know, um, Jouer's powder is gorgeous. And even um, CoverGirl. The Hindash palette is lovely. I'm very glad I have it. Um, the Charlotte Tilbury pencil, probably, nah. Um, what else? Oh, the Westman Atelier, the, um, the powder, it's nice. Again, I can completely do something more affordable. Oh, the Tom Ford concealer, nice, but not like my favorite. The Hourglass setting spray, yes, that is, I love that. And oh, my brow products, the Blink brow products, yes, love that. Um, and the lips, love, 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 love. Love them all, both the Merit, both the Merit and the Lena Chu. Mm, 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 mm. The Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, mm, no, not gonna repurchase that either. Okay, thank you so much for joining me and um, I will list all the products below 
And if you choose to buy them, thank you so much. Um, my links in the description box are affiliate links. So I do get like a little bit of a commission. Uh, sometimes it's like 25 cents. <laughs> Uh, so I really appreciate that. And, um, and also I always want to bring just a range of content. So if this, uh, was not for you because it wasn't drugstore, um, but thank you for hanging out and you know, there was always more drugstore coming up and yeah, I always want to give whatever I can to the viewers. Alrighty. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.